Welcome to Columbus Junction. Yes, the welcome sign is always out in this film and in the friendliness and caring attitude of the people. Columbus Junction is the hub of a community of five cities and some rich farmland. We'd like to show you our area and invite you to take a closer look in person. If you like fun and beautiful scenery, if you want to contribute to your community through work and service, you'll like it here. Columbus Junction is located in a growing city of between one and 2,000 in southeastern Iowa. It has a busy downtown that's the heart of its prospering and caring citizens. Nestled in the hills above the Iowa River Valley, the city boasts of many large city facilities. But if you can't meet your needs locally, we are ringed by nearby county seats with populations of 50,000 on down. And the Quad Cities with hundreds of thousands are only an hour away. You want fun? How about a dip in the public swimming pool built by labor and funds donated by local residents? We care for our young people. Many of them stay here after graduation. They know a good thing. There was a need for a tennis court. We held fundraisers and built some courts. And before long, the sound of smacked tennis balls was added to the community. And when we decided we wanted the best track possible, we got it. A hard-surfaced, all-weather track worthy of a university, built by eager people and used both by young athletes and older walkers. We have a beautiful country club just outside town. There's really something to entertain you for every age and every interest, from service clubs to just viewing the pleasant scenery from your patio to golf. Four. The Loiza County Fairgrounds is located here with its annual fair in July and August. And during the summer, there are weekly stock car races, a time to let down your hair and enjoy the noise and the action. Next door are three softball diamonds, busy all summer with leagues and tournaments for the young and not so young. And just outside of town, the Iowa and Cedar Rivers meet. Scenery, boating, and fishing. And nearby, there's a place to camp or picnic, or put your boat in the water, or just unwind. All within a mile of town. Nature blessed us with the hills and rivers and trees. Every summer, we have a celebration on the water with canoeing, fishing, and a demanding triathlon. We make use of the rivers, but yet they remain largely unspoiled. Ah, oh, watermelon days, when a neighboring town has a weekend of fun. It's in one of the finest melon-growing areas in the United States. Softball, football, picnics, or volleyball, our year slips and slides from one event to another. On Columbus Day, we host a large crowd for a celebration. It's a time for merchants in the city to thank those who make up the community, to meet and talk and eat and watch bands and clowns and show off our children and have good clean old-fashioned fun. The Shriners give us a big helping hand and everyone gets involved. Just another case of how a caring people takes care of their own. After the parade, there's free food. Like Western action and rodeo fun, we've got some. 
a yearly rodeo for horse lovers. But if you prefer sailing, why not try Lake Odessa, just minutes away? Sailing, boating, fishing, or fall duck hunting at one of Iowa's prime hunting areas. There's plenty for water lovers to do, and the Mississippi's only minutes away, and you can't do better than that. A go-kart track draws drivers and fans all summer. In fact, the national go-kart races are held here. The community loves bowling and our famous swinging bridge, a long suspension bridge known in local lore as Lover's Leap Bridge. The city park is lovely too. No lovers sleeping here, just ball games and picnics and children playing. And jogging and walkers and people enjoying the flowers and scenery. Now don't you agree that for the person who wants to enjoy life, we've got plenty. But there's more to the Columbus community than recreation, much as we enjoy that. We're within driving distance of a number of colleges, for example. And our public school has won national and state awards for excellence. If you're a student, you'd feel welcome here. That's what newcomers tell us. There are plenty of extra activities, from band to plays to sports. And parents can feel safe sending children to school where, from teachers to students to staff, there is an orderly learning environment. Housed in an historic building is the public library, recently remodeled inside to fit the century-old building. Once again, the people of the Columbus community have not stood still and let time idly pass. Story hours, free videotapes, a new children's room, all add to the library services. Whether it's a pleasant library with over 10,000 volumes or a new senior citizen center, we've made it happen. The new Senior Citizen Center and this modern nursing home were welcome additions for the aging. We have an excellent ambulance and medical responder service. That's comforting to know, coupled with the fact that we're close to the huge University of Iowa Hospital. There are also doctors and dentists and chiropractors. Yes, everything you need can be found here, nestled in this scenic setting. There is housing of all types along our pleasant streets, from the large modern custom-built homes to the beginning house or mobile home for the young family. There are all ranges. New apartments have been built and more are going up to meet the needs of a growing city. The only grass growing under our feet is well tended. Whether you're Catholic or Protestant, there are a number of churches here to meet your religious preferences. From weekly services to counseling to youth groups, our churches help mold and anchor our lives. And anchoring our business lives are the two largest banks in the county. Up and down Main Street, from farmers to wage earners to the retired, these banks serve the community. Both banks are modern and full service and have been active in promoting business expansion. The president of this bank was formerly the Iowa superintendent of banking. And this bank has been instrumental in launching a sister bank in a much larger city. Both banks are ready to serve you, whether you're a large businessman thinking of locating here or an hourly wage earner. The city and the country. Combined, they make up our community an agricultural area with progressive farms. That's our key to success. And that's one reason why the nation's largest meat packer opened a plant here. IBP has pumped millions of dollars into the local economy. It's our largest employer, 
and they say they've been pleased with the way we've responded to them. We have good workers here, and our community looks forward to putting our workers into favorable employment in new businesses. With a major interstate and airport less than an hour away and a thriving rail line, we have good transportation. Another major employer is Natural Gas Pipeline Company. The company stores natural gas underground and pipes it to customers in Iowa and Illinois. Stay a night or stay a lifetime. We thank you for visiting Columbus Junction through our film. Now we'd like to invite you to visit in person to see these caring people and the fine scenery and the possibilities for you in this strategically located city. May our community soon also be your community.